Hi there. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use the SFD graphic generator for scenario planning. For example, having made your first FFD, like this one, for a town I've invented, how you can use the generator to edit the data and illustrate the effect of improving different parts of the sanitation system. For instance, by eliminating open defecation and improving containment, the overall percentage safely managed in this town would increase from 31% as shown here to 51%. To show you how you can do this, I'm going to come out of PowerPoint and go to the SFD graphic generator, which is in the Susanna SFD web portal. Then I'm going to load the data file for the graphic I was just showing you, which I've called Hometown Baseline. In this town, there's a sewer system, there are septic tanks connected to soap pits, and there are pit latrines. But these are never emptied and they're abandoned when full, and then people build another one. But the old one is not adequately covered with soil, so it's not considered contained and therefore not safely managed. And there are some people who are still open defecating. So if we have a look at the matrix, we can see that I've assumed 25% of the population are connected to the sewer system, 50% use septic tanks, 15% cover and replace unsafely by pits, and 10% are open defecating. 75% of wastewater is carried in the sewers and reaches treatment where only 50% of it is treated. 75% similarly, 75% of the excreta from the fecal sludge from the septic tanks is emptied but only 50% reaches treatment and only 50% of that that reaches treatment is treated. So as we've just seen the SFD graphic looks like this. And on first inspection, I think the thing that occurs to me is that I would, as I said in the introduction, eliminating open defecation and improving containment would be the thing I would recommend as a first step. And I'm going to recommend that we make the changes in three steps to give you an idea of, of how you could uh, present your information, rather than making a lot of changes all at once. So in order to do this, I'm going to halve the screen and open a second graphic generator. Let's just get rid of that from behind so it doesn't confuse us. And then I'm going to upload the same system here. I'm going to change this one though. I'm going to call this scenario one and I'm going to call it year naught to three. So these are the these are the changes I'm planning I would plan to implement in the first three years. And now they're side by side, we can compare them nicely. We can find the right page. I'm going to eliminate the open defecation, as I've already said, nice and easy. And I'm going to suggest that these pits are probably going to start with continuing to, to empty and uh, not empty and cover and replace. But I'm going to suggest that that could be improved and they could do that safely. So two full small steps. And then I'm going, because I've made those changes, I'm going to create the SFD matrix again. And you can compare the two, you can see that the open defecation has disappeared and 
we've replaced this system with this one, which is now in theory safely managed. So I need to update that to 15%. And I'm boldly going to assume that the number of percentage of septic tanks has increased by 10%, which was the percentage of open deprecation. So as I said, I don't think I'm going to make any other changes at this stage. So we're going to, uh, you know, in the first three years, we're going to eliminate open defecation and we're going to improve containment elsewhere in the, in the city. What would our SFD graphic look like now? Okay, I'll put the other one alongside so we can see it. And we see that The overall, well, first of all, we can see that the open defecation has gone, of course, and we can see that this 15% of people who fecal storage was not contained is now, con is now contained. And the overall percentage has risen, not surprisingly, by 20% to 15%, to 51%, but that's quite a, a sizable increase, which is excellent. But what we're left with is this 23% of faecal sludge which is emptied but not delivered to treatment and we can see that only 50% of the faecal sludge is treated. So maybe that's the next area I would like to focus on. But before changing anything else I need to remember to save this scenario 1, checking it's the right one, and I'm also going to change uh, to save version of the graphic. So I can use both of those. I'm just going to move myself down to give myself a bit more room. <clears throat> okay, so having done that, I'm now going to update this left-hand side and hopefully, yeah, there it is. So I'm going to choose scenario one there. And then on the right here, I'm going to Make this scenario three, two, sorry, and then even myself. So we've dealt with the containment, so we're not going to look any further at the selection grid, but we're going to look at the matrix. And as I said, I'm thinking that the proportion that's emptied is at 75%, but the proportion that reaches treatment is much lower. So I think we need to strengthen the transport services and similarly strengthen the treatment, treatment services for the fecal sludge. And I'm also thinking that I would like to reduce this amount because currently a large proportion of the safely managed is fecal sludge that's contained, not emptied. So that's a temporary situation, partly because the septic tanks might be new or might be large, so they haven't been emptied yet. And the number of people with pit latrines, which they are not emptying but covering the place, thing, is a temporary situation as well. Not something that's necessarily sustainable. So I want to improve those two areas. So I'm going to suggest that we should continue to reduce this number of people using cover and replace and increase the number of people with pit latrines to 65%. And checking that this now totals uh, 100, which of course it has to. So this is my scenario two, years three to six. And having made those changes, I can compare it with my scenario one and see what effect those changes have had. And very pleasingly, I can see that the proportion of fecal sludge that's not delivered to treatment has dropped by half. And the proportion of fecal sludge that's just treated has risen from 11%, but it's nearly doubled up to 27%, more than doubled up to 27%. And overall, the percentage safely managed has risen to 63%. So I'm very happy with that second scenario. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to save the graphic as well. So
So looking at this now, I've realised that we've uh, looked at the on-site sanitation, but we've not considered the off-site sanitation, the sewage system, wastewater network. And we can see that 6% of the wastewater is not delivered to treatment, and 50% here of the wastewater is not treated. So clearly it would be uh, prudent to strengthen the sewer network and improve treatment capacity. So again, so I can make the comparison nice and easily, I'm going to upload my scenario 2 to the left hand side, so I can see the figures that I'm editing more clearly. So I have 75% so I think I'm boldly going to raise those to 80% for instance, and 80% treated. And again, I'm going to continue to reduce the pit latrines and I'm going to increase the network coverage so by 5% correspondingly. And I'm also going to continue to work on improving emptying, transport and treatment of the on-site sanitation. And I've remembered that I forgot to update my scenario in the headline, so I need to make sure that I don't confuse myself. So this is scenario three, year six to nine, and our matrix is complete. 30 plus 65 is 95, that's 100, so that's all good. So then if I compare it to this one, what's the impact of those changes? And I now have 19% of the wastewater treated, so that's around two-thirds of the, uh, the wastewater is, is now treated. And I've reduced the fecal sludge contained not emptied down from 26% and increased the percentage of fecal sludge. So it's all moving in the right direction, I think. And overall, I've increased an incremental change of just 7%, but that's still quite appreciable. And what I've noticed in those changes, by chance, is that, in fact, if I load the baseline in the beginning, this one, you can see that making those changes over those uh, three time periods, we've reversed the situation. So now we have run 70% uh, unsafely managed. We've got 70% safely managed. So I'm very happy with it those changes. Of course you could make different changes, you could make different assumptions and come up with a different diagram there. So maybe just helpful for people to see how that could work. So then I'm downloading the data and the graphic. And if I wanted I can go back to PowerPoint and I can insert that final scenario. So there's the graphic for this one. And just centre it nicely on the page. And then if we go back to slideshow, we can see that the baseline situation, we can demonstrate using PowerPoint changes as we move through the different scenarios to scenario one it's 51 percent safely managed eliminating the open defecation 63 percent having improved transport and treatment of the fecal sludge and the on-site sanitation and finally to 70 percent having improved the off-site sanitation and wastewater conveyance and treatment I hope that has helped you understand how you can use the generator for scenario planning. But in the meantime, if you have any comments or questions, please do feel free to get in touch. All the best.